Hey guys, it's Thursday and it's Project Life Size. And I want to talk about procrastinating. Procrastinating. I am the worst and biggest procrastinator I have ever come in contact with. And um, it's just not fun. Not fun to deal with at all. My biggest thing is the reason I procrastinate is because I am afraid that uh, the end result isn't going to be as ideal as I would like it to be. And then nine times out of ten, I surprise myself uh, and I finish with a bang. For example, um, I'm working on a three-part painting. Um, one of the paintings, it's going to be or is rather, um, they're all three by five paintings. One of them is uh, Carl and Ellie from Up. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. But Carl and Ellie daydreaming, living the dream. And this next one that I'm working on, and don't freak out because it's not done. I obviously have a lot more blending, and anyways, I'm not going to make excuses. Lilo and Stitch. Um, I'm in the process of working on. It's going to look a lot better than this when I'm done. I know it is. It always does surprise me when I'm done. Um, but there's still a lot of work that has to be done on that. And it's surprising because I thought, since they're three, they're five by sevens, that um, you know they'd be easier because it's a little less surface area to work with. However, I find that they are a little more difficult because it's a lot more blending and a lot tinier spaces, a lot more details, little tiny. Itty bitty living space. And then the last one's going to be Eva and Wally. Um, and it's a, a commissioned work for um, a friend of mine. And so it's not that I'm procrastinating. It's that the time that I have to spend on this painting, uh, I don't necessarily... I don't have enough confidence in that time and um, I'm working on it and then I'll set it down and I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, I just wish you could be done. I just wish that I could just, and you could just be done and and you would look great. You're going to be beautiful. You're going to be done and you're going to be beautiful. And I think that that translates, I was thinking about it and I was like, I think that that translates to life in a sense that all of the uncomfortable parts of life, all of the parts that we just we could wish we could just fast forward through or, you know, move past, uh, we kind of procrastinate leading up to those moments in life that we know are going to be a little uncomfortable. But then nine times out of ten, once we get over that, it's so much better than we thought it would be. Um, you know, you just never know what comes after the end results. And yeah, so that's how I feel. I feel like, you know, I get all of these ideas that this is the way it should be and this is the way it should look. And I, you know, um, I'm eating good and plenty. This is the way it should be and this is the way it should look. And it's not looking like this, but after, you know, after I'm done with it, then it looks amazing. Sometimes I just tell myself, just put the paint on the goddamn canvas. Just put the paint on the canvas. And then worry about the blending and the details later. And I think that that applies to life as well. Just put your feet in. Just put your foot forward. Just start moving. And you can worry about the details later. Does that make any sense? I love you guys. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I hope that you start something. Just put your feet into it. Just put your feet forward. Put the paint on the canvas. And you never know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.